the new Tyranid Codex is being released soon, which I'm very excited about. And that means that we're going to be needing to get our Tyranid army ready. And as Tyranid is a swarm army, that's going to mean a lot of units. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I quickly painted a Termagant unit. This is OTR Miniatures. I'm Tim. Let's paint some Tyranids. So I'm starting with a Wraithbane Prime. I just used a Bray can, but you could just use the normal paint bottle for this. So the first colour we're going to be adding, and I'm doing this all over, except for the Toxic Sacs and the Adrenal Glands, is just Contrast Black Templar. And the reason I use the Wraithbone is because I find that with the contrast paints you get a nice warmer tone to it. I'm going to be using a medium shade brush for this, as the shade brush actually holds the contrast paint better. And I'll be applying it directly from the pot, just make sure that yours is thoroughly mixed. And when that's dry you can see all the different cool shades and see why we've used the contrast rather than actually just painting it all black. So the next step is to grab the wraith bone again and we're just going to dry brush this all over the model in order to pick out all of the edges especially on the armor pieces. And then it'll end up looking like this and you can see especially on the edges of the shields and everything that doing it this way means that we're going to save time because we're not going to be doing any edge highlighting later. Whilst we have the wraith bone out, we're just going to use it to do a few touch-ups. So we're just going to tidy up any of the tongues that we got any of the contrast paint on. And also, if like me, you've put the toxic sacs or the adrenal glands, then just go ahead and tidy all these up. And once you've completed that stage, you can then begin to add some colour to the termagants. So for this, I'm going to use contrast paint again. Now the base colour of my Tyranid army is purple. So for this stage, I'm going to be using Magos purple. And all I'm going to do is paint over the entire model, except for the gun. I will be painting the like little armor plates on the top of it, but not the body of it. And also, I won't be doing the teeth, the claws, or the hooves. And again, as we do this, you can see why I use the black contrast paint. Because it's lighter than just using normal black, so we're already just getting a tint of purple over the whole lot. So it will read as dark purple rather than reading as black. The methods that I use to do this work really well if you're doing it in batch painting. Because by the time that you finish doing your last unit, the one that you did first is dry and ready to move on to the next step with. And then you end up with a nice colourful termagant, but they are still dark enough that they can be in stealth mode. Now for the next step of these, I'm going to be doing the teeth, claws and hooves. And I'm going to be doing them in athematic blue. I've chosen blue for mine as it goes with the purple yet stands out enough that you can see that it's a separate detail so depending on what color you have begun with then use something that complements it and all I'm doing as it's a contrast paint again is just slapping it on over the area and you'll end up with something like this so just repeat that for all the rest of the termagants in the unit so here's how it looks when it's dried the blue's dulled down a little bit I think that's looking pretty good so far for the amount of effort that we've put into it so next up we're going to be painting the weapon now these bits here that are coming from the arm into the weapon are normally done the same as the rest of the flesh but i kind of want to do something different so i'm going to start by doing it the same so i'll just do the purple so do that step when you actually paint over the rest of it just the same color so mine was magos purple and then i'll show you what i'm going to be doing with that and the rest of the weapon so what i'm going to do using wraithbone and a brush with a good tip is with the paint thinned down and a relatively small amount on the brush is just on these like coil type bits on the side towards the gun is just each separate segment is just come in and just paint a small amount of it like so because then my idea behind that is that we can blend the main color of the gun in just on those little bits so that we've got a nice transition between the flesh and the gun so I'm going to go for red guns and for that I'm going to use blood angels red so just for that first part I'm going to be using a medium glaze brush and being fairly neat but not worrying too much is just on that wraith bone it's just getting a nice glaze of that red onto it so that you end up with something that looks like that and then it's just a case of going over all of the rest of that gun minus the bits that you've already painted with the color so we're being a bit more careful with this color than we have with all of the others we don't want to have to redo anything that we've already done 
that tiny little bit in there is very tricky to get to so i'm going to use the little glaze brush again for that just as it's got a nice smaller point but you can just use any brush it's got a good tip to it you just want to get a bit of that color in there and also on the back of the gun here depending how you've positioned the arms it can be very tricky so again i'm just going to use the smaller one just to get in there and once that's done and dried you're left with something that looks like this which i think is looking pretty cool and is actually pretty much tabletop ready if you just gave it a base but we're going to add some more detail to it so grab in a brush with a good tip on it and some wraith bone we're going to come in and paint that bit there just through the center of these bits put a highlight on them and then at the same time we're going to paint in the eyes of the termagant as well so that it resembles something that looks like this and then on the gum bit there and there we're going to go back in with the magos purple or whatever color that you use for the main body of it and then for that bit of the gun and the eye we're going to come in with some iandan yellow so that we end up with something looking like that and at this point the termagant is completely done if you haven't added the adrenal glands or the toxic sacs but if you have, then just follow along with these next steps. I'm going to be using Araman Blue. And all we're going to be doing is grabbing a small dry brush with next to no paint on the brush whatsoever. Then we're just going to come in and make sure that we're only hitting up the toxic sacs and adrenal glands. And just carefully dry brush over them so that we're picking out more of the detail. But also blending them in slightly. And once you've done that, you can see that although we've used a bright color it has actually darkened it down so that they're not standing out as much and they are blended in more in keeping with the rest of the figure so that takes care of the fleshy parts of it now what we're going to do is actually add in some more color to pick out the toxins and also the extra adrenaline and for that we're going back to our brush with the good tip and the wraith bone and then what we're going to do is just come in with the two almost eye looking bits on that and give them a nice coat and then we're going to do the same with the top of the adrenal gland so that you end up with something looking like that and for the toxins i'm going to be using warp lightning so just coming in and glazing these little bits and once you've done that the toxic sacs are finished and then for the adrenal gland all i'm going to do is go back in with iand and yellow and just glaze over the bits that we've just coated in Wraithbone. And if you actually allow that to pull a little bit on the center of each of the dots, then it gives a almost orange tint to the middle of it. One last thing I'm going to do for these is these bits here, just for the adrenal gland, that are attaching the adrenal gland to the armor plate of the termagant. I'm going to darken them down slightly just so that they stand out from the rest of the adrenal gland. And to do that, I'm going to be using Nuln Oil. Letting that dry and then glazing on another layer. I ended up doing three coats to get the effect that I desired. So now you've got a nice transition between the armor plate, the bits attaching the gland and the actual flesh of the gland itself. And with that, the painting is complete. So now all we've got to do is base them. I went for a pale red sand on the base of mine as it helps the rest of the model stand out well. Let me know what you think of these. And if you do any yourself following this method, then just either tag me or use the hashtag Tim's Nids. Or I've recently started a Facebook group, so feel free to join that. I'll leave the link to that in the description down below. And then you can share any photos of your nids in that. Again, just use the hashtag Tim's Nids. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then let me know. Either leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, or please subscribe to the channel. That'd really help me out. If you'd like to help the channel out further, I do have a Patreon. And if you join up to that Patreon, then there is a Patreon-only giveaway. So the Imperium magazine, I'm going through an issue each month. And each month in a raffle, the figures that came with that issue are up for grabs. So that's it from me. 
Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.